Hello everyone and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, this is the test file that comes preloaded on most of your 3D printers. Now, when I say preloaded, I mean it comes on the SD card for most of your printers. Now, the reason that this file is so helpful is because it prints all in one piece, it's supportless, but most importantly, it's already sliced for you. So there's nothing you have to do besides hit print after you put that SD card into your printer after you get it assembled. And the reason that you don't want to skip that no matter what is because if you have an issue with this model that you're printing off the SD card, it will tell you that you're having a hardware issue and not a settings issue. Now, if you're wondering why that's important, if you go to print a model after you get done assembling your, your printer and you go to print a model that you're excited about printing, you, you've sliced it, you've added your own settings or you've pulled settings from somebody else and you go to print it and it fails halfway through, then you have to ask yourself, is it a settings issue or is it a hardware issue? So you've now essentially doubled or maybe even tripled because there's a lot of settings to go through when it comes to 3D printing. So you've doubled the amount of work that you have to do at least to figure out what the problem is versus printing this test file that you don't have to worry about settings. If it fails at any point, then you know it's a, it's a hardware issue that you got to take a look at your printer and see if there's something loose or if there's something that is connected wrong or something like that. So that's why it's helpful to print it as soon as you're done assembling your printer, but it's also good to keep it on hand for later too, because the same kind of thing applies later. If you're having an issue with prints later on and you're trying to figure out what it is, you can print this file and immediately determine whether or not it's a soft or a setting issue or if it's a hardware issue. Now, if you're not a dog person for whatever reason, if you maybe you don't like animals at all, whatever, that's you, you're wrong, but that's fine. You can very easily make your own test like this after you print this one. So, like I said, once you're done assembling your printer, print this one. Do yourself a favor, print this, make sure it prints correctly. Then what you can do later on is find your own supportless model. There's a couple of different really great ones on Thingiverse. Just type in supportless and it'll come up with the different busts. It'll come up with D&D um, &D minis, things like that that you can use. But the reason to do supportless is just it makes it easier. So it's one less thing to worry about. Um, but once you print that model and you know it prints well, then rename it something like, you know, the name of the file and call it test print and then hang on to it because again, you're doing the same thing. You've printed it, you know it's gonna print correctly and you have it for the future. So if for whatever reason you don't like this model and you wanna make your own, you certainly can do that. You just have to print it once and make sure that it prints correctly and then save it and only use it for that printer again in the future. And then you know, you'll have this test dog if you don't wanna make your own. Now, real quick, it does go the other way too. So in the future, if you were having an issue with a print, you know, some model over and over again, you know, you keep tweaking settings and it's just not coming out right, you can print this model in the future. And if it prints correctly, then again, you can go the other way and tell yourself, okay, it's not a hardware issue, it's a settings issue. So you can confirm that and it helps a little bit so that you can at least rule out, you know, hardware. So either way, it's just a way of, of slimming down what you have to look at when you're going to have an error because unfortunately part of this hobby is it's going to be failing it's failing and learning from those failures and this just helps you narrow it down so hope that was helpful uh, if you guys have any more questions feel free to put in the comments below jump on the facebook page There's a lot of really cool stuff going on there so love to see people jump on and post what they're working on and um, for sure if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it helps me a ton and i will thank you for it in advance all right till next time